Hey, this is Science Studio. Thanks for checking us out. Have you ever been scared of something and wondered why? Being scared is often prompted by the emotion that we call fear. And it often has three rules of engagement. That is to say, the thing or scenario that causes the fear must exude one of these three traits. It must either be threatening, dangerous, or painful. All three of these traits have one thing in common. They're learned. Apart from two specific fears, the fear of falling and the fear of loud noises, which are innate and instilled in our DNA upon conception, all other fears are learned over time. Let me give you an example. The fear of spiders, arachnophobia. It's probably one of the oldest fears to exist, but newborns don't have that innate fear. If a baby sees a spider, large or small, roaming around in its room, it won't naturally resist the spider. In fact, it's probably going to be curious and want to find out what exactly that little creature is that's moving around. It is only when the newborn is bitten by a spider that he or she naturally resists the spider's malicious intent. Why are we afraid of spiders? Chances are we or somebody we know have been bitten by one, and we've seen the results. This is a learned fear, and most fears develop in this way. But what about a fear that doesn't have the potential to cause severe physical pain? Something like stage fright. Unlike arachnophobia, stage fright is a social and mental fear. It has a lot to do with acceptance and the feeling of inclusion in a particular group, but it also has a lot to do with the potential to fail in front of the same peers. Now, I should clarify, anxiety is not just a mental fear. There are physical repercussions of such a feeling. Tense muscles, nausea, heart palpitations, sweating. These are a few of many possible signs that you may be anxious. As long as humans remain social creatures, the need and drive to want to perform well in front of peers will always be followed by anxiety. That is to say, anxiety is something that humans just can't turn off, and most of those people who say they can are probably lying. The only true way to reduce the amount of anxiety you feel is to get up on that stage and speak in front of those peers over over again. But let's take a step back. Most fears are driven by the need to live. The fear of death is perhaps the biggest motivator of them all. And it's a good thing that we fear death. The fear of death drives our need to stay safe, to take precautions, safety measures. Most of these things exist because we don't want to die. And it's a good thing that we don't. This is Science Studio. Thanks for learning with us.